Hello once again my friends, it's your buddy Nekumore here, and today I'm going to be doing something crafty. So, Charizard Amiibo, Pokemon Red, Charizard on the label. You got an idea what's happening? In case you don't know, these Amiibo, uh, people customize these things all the time, usually involves painting the model or removing the model completely and making your own out of modeling clay or whatnot. But the amiibo part of it is in the base down here, and I am going to basically show you guys how you can turn your copy of Pokemon Red or Yellow, since Pikachu amiibos exist, how you can turn these cartridges into amiibo and still be completely playable. Alright, so a couple of things you're going to need for this project. Number one, you're going to need a security bit screwdriver so that way you can get into the copy of Pokemon Red. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. Just look up Nintendo, uh, Nintendo like screwdriver set, bit set, or something to that effect. The other thing you're gonna need is a pair of pliers, which hopefully you have bigger ones than these. I can't find my big ones, so we're going with the sort of needle nose. And lastly, you're gonna need a Dremel, because you gotta cut into the bottom of the base. Uh, and so, of course, naturally you're going to want safety glasses. I'll repeat this again, safety glasses. There's a good chance that you're gonna have bits of plastic flying all over the goddamn place, and the last thing you want is a plastic chunk in your eye. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. If you do this without safety glasses, you can get plastic chunks in your eye. Uh, you can't say I didn't say so. So, uh, let's put these guys on. Let's get this plugged in. Let's get the camera zoomed up so you can see what's going on, and, uh, let's get into these puppies. Out of everything I could have chosen, I went with the word dog. Whoa! <laughs> safety tip number two! Make sure the Dremel's off before plugging it in. <laughs> I'm very lucky that there's not a nice cut in the couch now. I would've been mad. I cannot stress enough. Please be careful when working with a Dremel, especially with a, a disc this big. You want a cutting disc. Let me fix the camera a little bit. Fixed it, question mark? Okay, well, ugh, this is where we're gonna work right here. <clears throat> Best place to hold the Amiibo. Uh, make sure when you're doing this, uh, just so you know, you are destroying the Amiibo. Um, if you're careful, you can probably uh, salvage the figure, but for the most part, you're going to be destroying this thing, so only do this if you want to just, if you're okay with destroying the amiibo. Same thing with the Pikachu. The game itself will be fully functional, but it'll also be an amiibo, and that's badass. That's why we're doing this. Moving on. Okay. Basically, the idea is you want to cut into the base. You're going to cut in maybe about every half inch around the base, because you wanna, you're gonna end up uh, prying off the bits with your pliers. Uh, sometimes I do like to make little incisions on the bottom as I'm going around, so that way I can just break the pieces off and get in there a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now uh, with a fast forward. The other thing I should mention is when you are dremeling into the amiibo, make sure you don't go too far in. You don't want to damage the little, it looks like a sticker. It's like a little ribbon uh, board. Um, it's, you know, you have a bit of a way in, you have a bit of, a little bit of leeway around, but you don't want to like cut through the middle and then cut through it because then you break it and then this whole project is null and void and you wasted 13 bucks. How much are these going for? I don't know if you can tell, but I currently have little bits of plastic around here. I felt some get in my hair somehow, not exactly sure. Um, and it's all over the table top already. Again, can't really tell if you can tell, but that's where we're at. That's where we are at. That's where we're at, dog. Yo, homie G. All right, bottom. Again, you don't want to make the cuts too far in. You're just trying to basically score a line so that way um, when you go to peel, uh, ply the... Pl <sighs> that way when you go to pliers, the plastic off. Easy for me to say. You're just basically giving yourself a nice little uh, nice little bit of room there, a little wiggle room so you don't break something. Um, and I keep hitting myself in the face with bits of plastic. Again, please, wear safety glasses. Okay, now that I am officially covered in a lot of little tiny plastic dots, we'll have to vacuum the floor in here a little later. <clears throat> now we get to uh, unplug our Dremel. 
safety tip number three. When you're done with uh, power tools, unplug them. Now we get to um, <clears throat> attack the base of the Charizard with our <laughs> dainty little uh, pliers. Let's go. So the idea... These are not going to grab, are they? The idea is you want to get the piece of the... This isn't going to work. Hold on, please. Okay. Enough of the wimpy. Goodbye. And hello with the hefty. Okay, they're a little bit. So the idea is you're grabbing the plastic at the base. Only the black bit. You want to try to not grab the gold bit. Easier said than done. I know. And you're going to crank it off. Just like that. Ready? Like that. <laughs> Amazing how well you can do when you have the right tools. I'll be back, fast forward through the rest of this. At least until it starts to pop off. Or maybe we're not gonna fast forward at all. I haven't really decided yet. Cause this is going quite quickly. Quite quickly. In a perfect world, we'll grab onto one of these little sections that we cut and just pry the whole bottom part off. In a perfect world. Like that! There is the amiibo. That is the NFC chip. Um, where your amiibo's information is stored, saved, blah, blah, stored, saved, and uh, loaded. So see, at the very least, we kept our very nice looking Charizard mostly intact. Actually, I think that's the cleanest base opening if you don't look at the back I've ever done. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. So we have the Charizard figure that we can still hang out with. Hang out with? <laughs> so you have the Charizard figure that you can still display if that's what you're into, or you can just throw it out if you're a monster. We're gonna leave the chip inside of the plastic for right now, because step two, we're going to move on to opening the Charizard, or the Pokemon Red cart. Super simple, there's literally only one screw. You really can't screw this up. Ah! <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> I have no friends. Take the screw out, super easy, super simple. Boop. These aren't magnetic anymore. I don't know why. Maybe because they weren't magnetic in the first place and I just remembered wrong. And the way that these carts open is they slide. See, little, little slide action. Slide it and we're gonna pop it off just like so. Now, the inside of this game is dirty as hell. But this is, this is the, oh God, ew. Why does my, the inside of my game look like that? Okay, um, hold on one second. We're gonna go get a cleaner Pokemon Red. It's disgusting. Okay, so we're back with another Pokemon Red. This was one that was donated, and the reason why I wasn't gonna use mine was because, look at the label. I hope the camera focuses on this, but the label isn't looking too good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tr clean this up because this label's looking all right. <clears throat> What I think happened is I think the battery in this uh, particular game leaked at some point, which probably explains why the screw is all crusty. I don't know if you can see it. This thing is tiny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you, but uh, I'd like to take a moment to clean this. So once again, I will be right back. So sliding the game open for the first time, you can see uh, this is what the inside of a Game Boy game looks like if you've never seen it in the inside. Now. Normally, I would like to use the back, but there's a little pin right here that holds the circuit board in place. That's going to get in the way of the amiibo and the screw hole, so we can't use the back. So naturally, we're going to use the front. Now, we want to get this off. Actually, those other smaller pliers would be great now. Okay, so we got the little baby pliers back, and now we're going to very gently remove this. Be very careful to not bend this. Ah, oh, God, I'm doing the thing I said to be careful about doing. You just want to remove it as carefully as possible. Boop. There you go. We have the amiibo. So, it's sticky on the top here. So what I did is I just stuck it right there in the Game Boy game. So now, I can close this. Just take the bottom of the case, put it on, slide it back in place. You'll know... If you can't pick the top part off of the bottom, you know you have it secured. We're going to go ahead and drop the screw back in the hole. Seal it up. 
And there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. You now have a special edition Pokemon Red Charizard Amiibo. When you go to use the Amiibo, because the uh, spot you want to use is here, I'm just going to tap the front. And there you go. While I've got you on camera, because I realize now I said I'd show you that this game still works. Oh, got to blow in it a little bit. <sighs> Apparently it's not clean enough. <sighs> I promise this works. I've done this with a Pokemon Yellow before. There we go. All that Pokemon goodness. Let's see what her file looks like on here. I can't, I can't see it from back here. I have five Pokemon and no badges. So that means at some point this game was restarted and I lost all my progress. <sighs> all right, focus. Focus! Boom! Pokemon Red Special Amiibo Edition. I should print a label? Alright, and just like that... Showed you guys how to make an Amiibo. Well, take an Amiibo and put it in a Game Boy card. Just let's be real what I did. I didn't make anything. I just took one thing and put it in another. It's like a sandwich. This is an Amiibo sandwich. Okay. Seriously though. You could do this with a whole bunch of things. You could do this with maybe a, a Link Amiibo and Link's Awakening, or probably do it in Link to the Past if you wanted to open up a Super Nintendo cartridge. Um, things I would avoid, excuse me, I would avoid putting them on discs. So that Breath of the Wild that you wanted to do for your Wii U, I wouldn't do it. You'll probably end up screwing up your Wii U as possible. Just try, try to stick to cartridges. Uh, there was an idea that Heather had about making, taking Amiibo and putting it into like a convention badge, like the con badges we did at Retro last year. Um, I don't know if it would survive the heating process. If anyone wants to test that, that'd be cool. Let me know if you can uh, laminate an Amiibo in a badge. It'd be kind of sick, don't you think? I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, as far as when the next episode of the Neckamore show is coming out, I have successfully finished <laughs> finally writing the script for the next episode uh, i'm going to be talking to the people that i want helping me with it I'm just going to get things set up and filming should start sometime this week so new episode is coming soon and then i have a couple of games that i want to play for the next episode and i have plans i have plans i know this little youtube hiatus um seems like maybe i just killed off the channel or i just stopped altogether that's not true. I just um, needed to take a little break. I kind of overexerted myself for such a small channel and for what we're doing. But um, anyway, if you are new around here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to check out some recent videos, I'll have them in the end slate. And I'll have my most recent episode and some other random crafty stuff, I guess. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, if you do decide to take on this project, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to see more videos like this, just say so. Um, I'm planning on doing a custom 3DS painting. Uh, I know I did a lot of that in Canvas Kingdom before that channel got shut down. But... Uh, it wasn't what I wanted to do mainly, but it is content that I would like to put out there. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And I will catch you next time.